that's kind of a big fear I find when you're finding affordable rentals in Vancouver because yeah, if it's afford if it's affordable, it's probably going to get torn down within a few years and you're going to get kicked out as well. Renters in Metro Vancouver feeling trapped, not loving where they're living but still scared to lose it because even when the best you can do is with roommates, each paying $1000 a month, knowing you could lose it at any time, you're considered lucky. They know what they can get. The minute we leave, our unit's going to go up $800 to $1,000 a month. He knows this because he and his partner wanted to move when a construction site moved in next door. It was too late. We couldn't afford anything else in our neighborhood. Um, rent went from, you know, 21, 2200 a month to now, you know, something, a unit in our size is going for over $3,000 a month. I literally can't afford it in this city at all unless I live in like a basement suite in Richmond, which is very far from my job. That's with a professional, decently paid job. So he stays with his two roommates in Vancouver. The minister responsible for housing says building approvals have been a problem and that's being improved. And they're encouraging cities to make short term rentals like Airbnbs less attractive to landlords. An uphill battle made more challenging, he says, with a record number of people coming to BC. Interprovincially, a 30 year high. Whether it's immigration from other countries, a 30 year high. At the same time as we're seeing a real shortage of housing, vacancy rates less than 1%, uh, the lowest level of MLS listings in Metro Vancouver in 30 years. The NDPs prioritized overall affordability and affordable housing in their policies and budgets, unlike the previous government. But up against low interest rates and a pandemic, progress has been stalled. The new leader of the opposition riding this problem all the way to the next election, starting with his latest ad. We have the highest housing prices we've ever seen in the history of the province of British Columbia. We've got fuel prices, the highest in North America, even before the war in the Ukraine. Housing prices skyrocketed under the last Liberal government, as did money laundering, compounding the problem. And fuel prices have always been higher here than elsewhere. The bottom line for renters remains the same. Paying a lot of money to stay in places they don't necessarily love because there are few, if any, other options to stay in the cities they love. Our landlord has every three months somebody come into our unit. After, after almost five years, every three months we have somebody come in and check our unit. And that doesn't make you feel like they, they want you there long term. I love Vancouver, but a lot of the time it doesn't feel like it loves me at all because I would love to stay here for like the rest of my life. Lisa Yuzda, City News.